brings you to Barnes & Noble tonight? Well, Colin, I'm on a national book tour for my uh, new novel, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. It's uh, the book of Episode 3 that's coming out May 19th. This is not your first time you've been, you've been writing about the Star Wars universe, is it? No, not at all. Actually, this is my third novel for Star Wars, but it's the first time that I've actually had the opportunity to write about um, the Skywalker family, and it's been, uh, it's been quite an interesting experience. A lot of people, myself included, envying you because you've, got, you've gotten the information about the, about the film that we haven't. Okay. How long in advance have, have you, do you see the script for Revenge of the Sith? And did you receive any script changes of the filming process? I got the script as it stood at the end of principal photography, which, which uh, shut down in August of 2003. I got the script in November of 2003, so I had it a long time ago. And there were changes that took place after I started writing, and I did get some of the uh, reshoot script as well, but a lot of the changes that I had to make, that I had to adapt to, were actually based on reports that I got from um, Jonathan Rinsler, who was working on the making of Episode 3 and uh, some of the other supplementary materials. Um, he, would, uh, he was on set for the reshoots, and he would let my editor at Lucas Books know what was happening, and then she would tell me, and I would incorporate those changes into the novel. How much input do you get from George Lucas when you, when you put together a Star Wars novel? Well, for this particular novel, of course, I had a vast amount of input. I was working directly from George Lucas's script for the film. And the book itself, after it was completed, was line edited, word by word, by Mr. Lucas personally. Uh, for a regular Star Wars novel, part of what we call the expanded universe, Mr. Lucas uh, is more of a hands-off sort of guy. He sort of he leaves those things to the people at uh, Lucas Books and Lucasfilm Licensing. Um, they're very, very good at managing uh, the franchise. They 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 take care of continuity issues. They make sure that they that uh, nobody kills off Luke or or Han or Leia and you know all that kind of stuff. They handle that for him. What's just hard to do, writing a novel for, for a story or writing an original story? Well, um, writing this novelization was probably the hardest work I have ever done as a writer. This is my seventh novel. I've written four books of my own and three Star Wars novels. And when you're writing, when you're writing your own book, you come across a scene where it just doesn't seem to to be working right and you don't understand the way things are going and you can just change it. You make your characters do something else. When you're writing a novel based on George Lucas's film script, the characters have to do what they do in the movie regardless. And so if it if it doesn't make sense with their with their characterization as it's been in the book up to then, what you have to do is you have to change their characterization all the way back to the beginning of the book to make what they do in every scene make sense. So yes, it was, it, it's very difficult, but it was very rewarding. What advice would you, would you give a kid who wanted to be a writer? Write. Read and write. Read all the books you can. Not just, not just the kind of books that you like. Read books. Try different things. If you, if you like Star Wars, try Star Trek. If you like both of them, try moving out into some other fantasy and science fiction. Try some detective novels. Every once in a while, try picking up one of those classics that your teachers keep trying to shove down your throat. <laughs> you read a little Hawthorne or Hemingway or something like that. You have to read a lot and you have to write. I started writing when I was younger than you. And even when, when I wasn't doing it for a living, I was writing every day. Ray Bradbury one of the very, very great writers in my field said that you only start to learn what you're doing as a writer after you've written a million words. And that's, that's, where, that's where it begins. Once you've written a million words, you start to understand. I see.
So, now that the Revenge of the Sith novel is out, what is your next project? Well, my next project is the third book in a series that I had actually put aside to start writing Star Wars. These are my overworld novels that are known as the Acts of Cain. The first one is Heroes Die, and the second is Blade of Tai Shao. I am about uh, halfway done with the third, which is called Cain Black Knife, and should be coming out from Del Rey in January of 2006. Well, thank you, Ron.